Hi guys, welcome back. I've missed you and it's been a while. So on my Instagram for this is so at Kisha, I asked you guys this question, something that I've been thinking about, and I was like, mm, let me do a video that's a bit interactive. Like any mechangia. So I asked you guys what would you tell your 15 year old self now that you've lived a little because most of us are like five years and above over 15 and whatnot. So I got amazing responses from you guys. Hey, you are wise, my people. I have about 16. I, w I hope they won't be so long because I relate to most of them. Now maybe I'll talk to story time. So here we go. Um, the first response. Mm -hmm. To just breathe and not rush into love as I perceive it in brackets. But every experience is worth it, I guess. I've gotten um, responses regarding this similarly about love and relationships at that age. So, so you can just summarize into one. Let me see if there's another one like that one. Um, hmm. To not date when young. I support that kabisa. In fact, I'll tell my children, God willing, not to date. Of course, maybe they won't listen to me and they'll be like, I like this guy, I want to date him or I like this chick she can to date her but honestly i'll be like candid i tell them my experience and then from that they can judge and maybe go on with it if they want but at least they go ahead with that decision waki draw in for them you know so yeah that was one of the responses there's another one <laughs> i love you you are amazing thank you i love you too i love all of you thank you um then there's another one you're the one determining your way and your life never give up that's true like you're the one who can determine how your life will turn out to be you don't have to depend on other people in in case other people are doubting you, you just have to search deep within and tell yourself you're in this earth for a particular purpose create to not doing something significant that will change at a company one person's life maybe that one person's life is your life so you're the one person who can be your biggest cheerleader. Don't rely on other people to like back you up and like whoo you know at a kama to me for example like this YouTube channel. Kama ni kwana one subscriber, maybe my best friend or my sister or my cousin or my dad, you know. Yeah, my dad watches my videos, but I think I'm watching two more channel ilim to me a copy see. Ah, I get drama to mingi than ya about his daughter, but anyway. So yeah, even if I had like one subscriber because I know that's what I want to do for myself and I want to do something because maybe I don't have cheerleaders. I have myself as my own cheerleader, you know. And then there's another one. I tell her that no situation is permanent. This is true. Joy comes in the morning. I think this will be a very short video. Uh, there's another one. Number five. Don't care about what people think about you. True. Okay. High school was the ultimate test about this. That's another story time, but I'm not ready for that story time yet. It's a heavy one. And then there's this one. I really felt this one. Validation should come from within. What water could disappoint Sana if you rely on them for it? That is true. Validation should come from within. And you should at a company every morning when you're waking up. You just go to your mirror and you're like, girl, you're so beautiful, you're amazing, you're God's beautiful creation, you're here for a purpose and you can do it, even if you don't believe it. Fake it until you make it, or rather, face it until you make it. This is another regret of mine, but not such a big regret. Eh, kizongo. It's not a big regret, because right now my hair is natural, okay, my blood dry. And my hair ilikuwa zile ngumu yani nilikuwa nafanya full blow dry donishkwe lines. You can just imagine vile ilikuwa ngumu. So after high school and I wanted to transition back to being a naturalista, somehow, siju kama chemicals ilingia kwa jeans ama kwa hair scalp, uko ndani, because somehow my new, fresh, natural hair is softer. So I'm, I'm not regretting so much. Bitch, I'm 15. I know who this is. This is my sister. She's not even 15. She's 14. <laughs> uh, to not date when young, I'd said that. It really damages you. And when you finally go into like serious relationships, it can mess you up. So 
if you are under 15 and you're watching this please save yourself for after high school and uh -huh. not everything you want and makes you smile is a blessing this was it took me back i was like whoa we've done not everything you want and makes you smile is a blessing this is so true i think um discernment will come in here where you ask god hey is this person for real am i is this thing that I want and I think is legit? Is it really? Do, is this something that you want for me? Is it really something that is from you? Is it a blessing? So I think we have to take a moment there and like maybe big decisions or certain people that come into our lives. And they may seem all bliss, but maybe they're not adding anything important to your life. And they're just there. And like maybe secretly they have ulterior motives. Even if they are not harming you, you, you know, you never know. So just be discerned and seek discernment in every aspect of your life. That's what I'll say. Then number 11, don't stress too much. What's meant to be will be. I think that's straightforward. It's not easy, but you've got what is coming ahead of you. Just believe it and everything will be okay. I think um, 15 is like puberty onset and like adolescence is on peak. You're growing, you're maturing, you're learning a lot of things, you're questioning a lot of your beliefs and you're experimenting. So I think it's a very confusing time. And I guess that's why I chose this age because I think this age I underwent, I underwent, undergone, underwent. I underwent a lot of changes in all aspects, like in my social circle, physically, okay, not really physically, but in my social circle, in some of the beliefs that I'd grown up to know as like as easy a question and I was like starting to really think about them and think like what do I have to say about them? Do I really believe them? So I think if you're in this age you just have to take things slow and trust the process because we've all been done. It's not at it because you saw this video your life will be perfect because you have this advice. You'll have your experiences and your two story times and your laughing and uh, and you're laughing about something that you knew was going to be bad but you did it anyway but it will be a life lesson and i think that's that what that's what makes what cinema quality man any here and i think that's what makes life interesting uh -huh. love yourself more self-love is so important and i can't even emphasize it enough it's like the core to your well-being how your relationship with other people will be how you will treat yourself, what you will allow to be done unto you is all on how you love yourself. And just keep ignoring bullshit. It's worth it. Life will only get more confusing than it is. Ignore the bullshit and focus on the positive shit. <laughs> yeah. And then, baby. Kai, Monana so maybe. Baby, don't get too emotionally attached to some people. It ain't worth it. I think this is so true. I think certain people will never live your life. So maybe even if they're not that good for you, you cling on to them like a leech. Say, say bye, bro. Tell her bye. Tell him bye. Anyone that is not worth it, you cling over onto them and maybe they're harming you. Maybe it's emotional abuse or whatever. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And the last one, this is long. And I think it summed up everything pretty well. That's like the last one. God has a plan for you. And I'll quote a verse. God has a plan for you, Jeremiah 29, 11. Not to harm you, but to bring you prosperity and to bring you the, the future that you hope for. And I'm early summer two point stringy. So that was the first one. And then not all friendships are long lasting. I was told, was it my dad? I'm a, did I read it somewhere online? That you have friends for each stage of life. It's part of life and some you maintain throughout and that's amazing. But you have friends for each stage of life. So it's not such a big deal to lose some. Seeking attention, especially from guys, won't help you. Plus relationships at that age are pathetic. True, they're so pathetic. Oh my goodness. Spend more time knowing God for you and trust him. Plus don't be distracted by worldly stuff. They just draw you back. And as I finish, I hope that was helpful and entertaining. I know I haven't given story times or I haven't been like, you know, like, adrenaline, but I hope that advice helped you. And this advice is not just for like the 15 year old self that 
you're looking back and I was like, hey, if I could write a letter and if I could just hug myself at that age and say, hey, you know, overreact, relax, sis. I think this advice is valid for everyone, regardless of your age. Ataka, maybe you're 30 or something. It's still important that you shouldn't care what people think. You should be your own, like, a compass of moral judgment. And I think you should just take everything slow, take in a deep breath a day at a time, especially now. Yeah, and smile, do what makes you happy, and watch that series you love. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys!